Our chosen research is about self-confidence, which is under the second stage of the Eric Erikson physical development at the stage of the ego development outcome are the anatomy versus shape and the basic strength of the self-confidence courage and will during this stage which individual learns to master skill to the themselves where they have opportunity to build the build self and the time anatomy as the gain more control over the build bodies and the acquire a new skill learning right from the wrongdoing. He if he or she is the same in the process of the learning other important skill he or she may may feel a great shame and adult uh, capabilities and suffer low self stem that result the most significant relationship are with parents. As stated in the research, uh, competence and knowledge and performance are necessary to person learning process the student lack and prefer that may cause into issue that not only for them but also interaction in, in terms of calculation of development and execution of the problem of many students is a lack of self-confidence which is the result in a lack as a equate of the development and the equal development after the signification amount of time spent in their class of as for the 2016 self-confidence is defined as the belief or trust that student has in their ability for perform something as successful. It means that you have faith and you are sure of what you are doing. You are confident enough to do it. Move move over Norman and Highland 2003 suggests that confidence is the component. It's a learning that can influence student engagement and the success. Self-confidence is the required for the student take Rich and participate in learning activities individuals who are confident in their ability to set active goal and themselves and work to achieve them without being concerned with the outcome. Kanza 2016. Background of the study. On the background of their work in the research examination, previous research about self-confidence affect on their learning as well as research perspective on self-confidence and its impact of self-confidence is described as a uh, student conviction of the confidence in their ability to do tasks effectively. Hans the first skin 2018 claimed that self-confidence as a linked to success educational performance consolation and the student well-being among other things and their self offenses to self-esteem and self-confidence are and their three characteristics that may influence a person degree of the self-confidence as time of goes by. Research objectives. The current study aims to identify the label of students, self-confidence in learning at Kandahar University. Besides that, Finding out how the self- Good day, I'm Gia Nicolette Arias from First Year Bachelor of Elementary Education and I'm here to present the statement of the problem of the research study. Although self-confidence enhances the student's motivation and its impact is explained thereof, there are various challenges exist for students with lower self-confidence. For instance, Benabu and Tarol in 2002 point out that there is still one big challenge that the students are having as their vulnerability in learning is the lack of self-confidence which affects their learning. Conceptual framework. This includes the whole process that the researcher of this study make completely from this research. In the table, you can see the following indicate produce. It involves an input. Conceptual framework. This includes the whole process that the researcher of this study make completely from this research. In the table, you can see the following indicate produce. It involves an input that will be the respondent's profile and the process is data gathering through survey form and lastly the output will be the student self-confidence and impact on their learning process. Hi, I'm Janela Marie S. Romero. For today, I will discuss about the method. First, we have the research design. In this study, the researchers use the quantitative research design that includes numerical data, objective thinking, and statistical methods. Next is the respondent's characteristics. In the first phase of the study, students of different grades, grades from six faculties, namely from education that had total 1,900 students, 
320 students were selected as samples. Literature faculty with total 600, from which 235 were sampled. In law and political science, had total 480 students, from which selected samples were 214. In faculty, journalism that had from total 380 selected samples when were 191. The faculty of Sharia and law from total 500 selected samples were 218. And from total 400 population in public administration and policy, 197 samples were selected. They were randomly selected so that everyone has an equal chance to be selected as the participant of the study. Creswell 2012 In order to ensure the, the real sample size with the accuracy of 0 0.5, the survey ta table of Cred C and Morgan is used in their of sampling method. It is due to the number of students in all faculties were not equal so the researchers have used the their of sample size. As the present study was conducted at the end of the academic year, so students of all grades, including freshmen, had gotten enough experience of their self-confidence in the university and were able to provide the necessary data for the present study. Sampling Procedure The study is descriptive in nature and quantitative questionnaire is used to measure self-confidence of the 1,375 male and female in all level and different grade. They were selected through use of stratified random sampling method from those faculties at Kandahar University whose self-confidence can be observed or engaged. Research Instrument The main instrument in this study is a questionnaire. The questionnaire is designed in three parts. The first part is about demographic information of participants. The second part is for measuring students' self-confidence in learning process and consists 15 items and each item has a choice of 5 scales such as 1. Not confident at all 2. Less confident 3. Confident 4. More confident and last 5. Extremely confident so that any participant can show the level of his or her confidence in performing several tasks or activities inside the class and out of the class related to learning. The third part of the questionnaire is considered with the impacts of self-confidence in a student's learning process and has 12 items, each of who are having 5 cho choice of link linkert scale. 1. Strongly, dis strongly disagree, 2. Disagree, 3. Undecided, 4. Agree, and 5. Extremely agree. Data gathering procedure. The data gathering procedure that was uh, utilized by the researchers, the random sampling, so that everyone will have an equal chance to chosen to participate in the research, the student from the various grade from six faculties were chosen as simple in the first and first the Research were in 320 students from the education, 600 students from the literature, 214 students from the law and political science, uh, 380 students from journalism, and 400 students from the other faculties. Data analysis. In the terms of the data analysis, researchers utilize the frequency count and percentage distribution to determine the profile of the respondent. The survey table to Kraji and Morgan is also utilized to provide a true sample size with an occurrence of the 0 0.5 because the number of the student in each faculty was not equal. The researchers selected an authoritative afford sample size student of the, all the grades, include the freshmen, had enough experience to strengthen their trust in institutional and were able to offer the necessary data for the current study because it was done near the conclusion of the academic year. Ethical consideration of the ethical consideration research is strictly observed and maintained the confidentiality of the data that, that gathered on their participant. The research was uh, very careful in uh, conducting their research so that it will not cause many physical or emotional harm may be caused for the example by violating informat right for the privacy by posting sensitive questions or by the gaining access to record which 
may contain a personal data observing the, the behavior of informant without the being aware allowing personal information to be made the public which the informant would want to be a keep private ensuring the confidentiality of the da data obtained and learning enough about the culture of information to ensure it is uh, respected during the data collection. I am Jen Jasper Lopez Ibai and now I will be going to present the summary of findings of this research. These findings show that majority of the students at Kandahar University are highly self-confident in performing several tasks in the class or out of the class. But still, there are less students who have low self-confidence in their performances. It also revealed that student self-confidence is very effective in learning process and had positive impacts in their learning process. The main implication derived from the study in general refers to all university teachers and especially to Kandahar University teachers to use present studies findings showing that more than a half of students at Kandahar University were highly self-confident but still a small percentage of students in this university were low self-confidence. Therefore, the researchers considered it necessary for academic staff of Kandahar University to pay special attention to students who have low self-confidence by helping them to develop self-confidence for the findings of current study showed that self-confidence has many positive impacts on students' learning and performances inside and outside the class. Liz and Roque, BE Ed, and I will go in to present the recommendation of our research. Based on the result of the study, the following recommendations were abstracted to further improve the well-being of the students to boost their self-esteem, the following recommendations are drawn. However, the implementation was still dependent on the school and the administrator of the school. Number one, as a result, parents have a significant impact on the children's self-esteem growth. Self-esteem is frequently linked to the quality of communication between parents and their children. Number two, learners should be applauded and recognized for their accomplishments, according to the study. Students who lack confidence are more likely to focus on the negative aspects of their activities. When students do something well, make a point of complimenting and applauding them both privately and in front of their classmates. Number three, to increase a students' self-esteem and motivation to engage in class, the school should encourage them to actively involve by giving them opportunities for decision-making, whether it comes to assignments or classroom regulations. While it may be tempting to just lead kids through an assignment and teach them how to handle it. Teach them how to arrive at the final solution in their own unique way. Making a list of must-do and may-do assignments for students to complete is one approach to do this. I am going to present the conclusion of our research. The finding of this study revealed that the level of student self-confidence in learning in various areas. It's shown that the students in some areas of learning have low self-confidence. On the other hand, majority of them were highly self-confident. The study also found out the impacts of a student's self-confidence in learning process at Kandahar University. The study found out that the students with self-confidence can lead them improve in participation, enjoy learning, reduce test anxiety, increase interest in goal-seeking, growth of comfort with their lecturers and classmates, and finally help them in sharing their experience and opinions in the class.